cool. Check out this web that my Vclear Versicolor did. Hi guys, John here. So, I've been requested by Bomb wants me to update my Pocotheria Metallica and the Goody Sapphire Rudimental. And so I'll, I'll do it. So, still didn't get any molts from my Lassidora Parahibana. I actually have to give her water. Him water, actually, because he's a male. So I hasn't molted yet. I expect her soon. And so is my Nandu Velpinis. Uh, these giant strawberry blonde bird eater. No molt yet. Grandma Sola Rosea, Chili and Rose. I got a very, very active green bottle blue. Chromato Palma Sienna Pubescence. Really disappointed that he's a male. Mature, no less. Stucratis Gigas in there. My 6 inch Pocotheria Regalis hiding. And let's check on my Platyama. She molted yesterday. And you can see the pink highlights. I do believe this might be a male. The reason why I say it's a male, because Males of Pomphibetus platyama are really, really pink. Uh, females are kind of brownish. That's pretty cool. I'll probably get a female from Alex Oe one of these days. And here, some Poe's Cambridge turned out Chevron. Really, really cool. Tarantula. Actually, my largest of the Samopoeses. Well, what I have. All right, let's go to the Metallica. Okay, so here is Bracky Bomb's request um, to video my Pocothera Metallica, the Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Let's zoom in on her. Oh yeah, she's a pretty, she's a pretty one. Her name is Mia. Uh, so she's a near a five inch female. I bought uh, this tarantula from Tarantula Canada for around two hundred dollars as a inch spiraling in about two years and when did I get it? I got it, no I got it last Christmas of 2008 yeah and she grew huge right now so you can see the lovely blue legs reminds you of a cobalt blue he's got the pokey patterns on the carapace and on the abdomen which is typical. I don't believe it's fully mature yet. I think she still has a couple of more inches to grow. Let's check the back view of the spider. Hang on, let me just... You have the blue, you have the yellow warning legs. It's typical for pokies. Except Formosa, Peter Senai, um, Miranda, and Safuska. Those are the only species that don't have the yellow warning legs. And maybe we can find some spermatheci. If I can zoom in. Oh, you might. Looks like it. The fangs. Wow, awesome spider. This is really not the most expensive one. The most expensive one to date is the Pocotheria smithy, which is the uh, yellow-backed ornamental. It's kind of a, looks like a cross between the Ornata and the Peter Senai. Um, I think they go for about 500 bucks, a spider. But we need to get more of these in the hobby, like Metallica and um, smithy, so that way it will be much more cheaper if you want to know what the cheapest one is, you go for Regalis or Fasciata. So let's look at the Fasciata. Okay, so here is my Pocotheria Fasciata. Sri Lankan ornamental. They look very, very similar to the Regalis. They have the brightest yellow warning legs in my opinion. These guys go for half an inch, I think $25 at Tarantula Canada, so they're really cheap compared to Pokies. Awesome. 
So I got a question uh, from Critical Shots asking me which is the most docile Pocothera species. Well, to be honest with you, there's no really do docile specimen. They generally all have the same temperament. They can be very skittish. They can be aggressive if you provoke them. But if you want to know from my collection, um, the Sathaska and the Miranda seems to be the more calmer ones. Uh, the Ornata, I have a lot of this threats from him. Uh, he's a male, so if you want, we'll check him out. And there he is. This is the Ornata male. He's badass. <laughs> if I see more threat postures from uh, any poke, he has to be this guy. Ooh, he looks kind of like a Rufalata to me. But it's a male, and uh, females actually gray out, just like the regalis. Need to get a female. And also here is a Pocotheria formosa, otherwise known as the Salem ornamental. I like her because she has an awesome coloration. Here we go. If you can see the colors, I don't know if the camera picks up. It's kind of beige. And he has some purple highlights. This is really cool about the Formosa, the highlights. I am some I am getting some uh Pocotheria to green Wasellis. These are a mixture of Miranda, Formosa, and Safasca all combined. Making it one sweet pokey. Mind you they're too expensive here in Canada. Shane. And if you guys want to see a stretched out mature male Tapanikinius gigas, the orange tree spider, here it is. Man, wow, what a big difference from being so orange, as you see the leg, to that. That's why mature males don't look as pretty as the females. So I pray to goodness that my other one is a female. Yeah, you can see the eyes right here. That's what I love about arboreals, is that you can actually see the eyes much more clear. Yeah, mature male. This disc. And hopefully this will be a female, and that's what they look like. They'll look exactly like this, except bigger. They get around 5 inches. These are the largest uh, Tapanikinias. That's why they're called Gigas. Gigas being the largest one. Love this one. You can see the eyes too. If you want my opinion, Tapnikinuses and Eridopelmas are very, very mean tarantulas. I think they're about as mean as Dramatopelma calciatum, the feather leg baboon. Only um, you don't have the severe venom that goes with it. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video and uh, pretty soon, hopefully, I'll Film Tarantula Nighttime Video 8. Alright, peace guys.